Welcome back coding fans. Here we are at generalizing a function in parameters. It's the second lesson. Um, let's go ahead and see what's going on. Uh, initializing our expert to be capital expert with parentheses behind them and capital character with parentheses behind them. Um, and then we have a new function to kind of write. Um, obviously our expert I think is gonna go um, or I think it's obvious, between these two locks because that's the only thing you can do. And the character is going to walk around collecting gems. So it looks like we have some collaboration here. We also have a new function, turn lock. And it says up bool number of times int. So bool means one or the other, true or false, on or off, all those things. Um, and then the, our integer is going to be whatever number we put in. So let's go ahead and write this. So this is indeed a for loop because of number of times. So we're in our function body, we're gonna say for one in, and for no specific number of times, but for number of times, that's how many times it's gonna go up. So that's one of our parameters. And then we also need to kind of put in where it's gonna go up or down. Uh, so this is conditional code. So I'm saying, okay, if, and our other parameter is up. So if up double equals, meaning we put true into up, our expert, or okay, so expert is going to dot turn the lock up. And that will turn the lock up that many number of times. Now, we need to add an else because if it's not true, it's false. So we don't need an else if. So else our expert is going to turn the lock down. So lowercase expert dot turn lock down. All right, so that's going to be the function that we have here. I'm just kind of cleaning things up. Um, now, if you notice, our expert is going to have to turn around in order to get to that. So we're going to have expert turn around as well as a function, make life easier. So I'm going to say, okay, expert capital turn capital around and you can do a for loop or we could just do expert dot turn right expert dot turn right or turn left turn left expert dot locus expert dot turn right all right so the character is going to have to turn around twice as well. So I'm going to go ahead and do one for character turnaround. You can copy and paste this function um, and just change all everywhere you see expert to uh, character. But we're going to go ahead and write it again. So this one's going to be called, nope, that's a for loop. I want function. I'm going to call this character. Capital turn around. Okay, so in my function body, it's going to be character dot turn right, turn right, or turn left, turn left, whatever you like. And this is something we don't have to do, obviously, but it's just going to make our life a little bit easier. So I'm going to um, use my function, my turn lock up function. Um, to get these locks up. So yes, I want to turn the lock up, true, and we're gonna say three times just to see what's up. We're gonna have our expert turn around. No, nope, that's not what I want. There's a function for that. I want expert turn around, there we are. And then we're gonna turn the lock up again, true number of times three. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and run this so that we can see kind of what's up. Okay, so that worked the way I wanted it to. Um, and now we just kind of have to code this line by line to get this uh, done. There's other more complicated ways you could do it, but there's no reason to make it Try and simplify it by complicating it. So, the way I see it, uh, expert need or the character just needs to go one, two, three. So we can just go character dot 
move three. So we're going to use our move parameter three. Uh, and then we're going to go character dot collect gem. Collect gem. And then we can do character turn around, which is the function I wrote, or we just wrote. And then they need to move forward, turn left, move forward, and turn left. So that sounds like a for loop. So for one and two, we're going to have character dot move forward and character dot move left. So character dot move forward just once, character dot turn left. And that will get our character on the yellow platform ready to come down. So our expert is currently placed um, in front of the purple platform. So I need my expert to turn around. And we need our expert to turn lock. We don't need to do expert dot. So when they're facing the yellow, we're going to turn lock down so false and it's going to come down I believe two okay and then our character is going to need to move forward collect gem and turn around again so we have that already um, which is this right here character move it's not just move forward but we just change the three to a one so I'm gonna get character move three collect gem and turn around I'm gonna copy that and we're gonna paste this down here at the bottom we're going to mess with the argument. So character move, they'll just need to move one and then collect gem and turn around. So I'll go ahead and run this um, so that you can kind of see what's going on. All right, so here we are. Um, we're pretty good. Um, starting here, character move distance three to go across, collect the gem, turn around, have our expert, uh, or no, we'll have him move forward and turn left, move forward and turn left, and while he is on the yellow platform, we're going to have the expert turn around and then ride it down two, and then collect this gem and move forward. So, um, we still need to do some collaboration, so I'm going to have my character move forward stand on that platform again okay now they're standing on the platform um, our expert can then turn this down once so let's see we want this to go down so false and down one and then our expert will need to turn around to get to the purple one, and that's gonna need to come down all three. So we're gonna turn this one down, false, all three. So after that, both platforms should be on the bottom, and we'll just need to move to the purple platform one. So we'll just need to move to and collect gem. Um, so we go character dot, move to, move distance, argument two, and then character dot collect gem should finish this up. All right, let's run this and see if it works. All right, there we go. Um, it looks like we've got some code, and it is a lot of code, and it's a lot of different parts moving. The character does this, the expert does this, and whatnot. Um, like I said, there are probably better ways to do this, but this seems to be the most direct, and it, it follows what we're trying to do um, using our parameters with turn lock as well as our move with the distance parameter. So, we'll see you on the next one. Love you. Bye.